Don't break that. Try not to be late getting them to the party or picking them up. Ben worries. It finishes at six. Okay. Enjoy them. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to be snide. Enjoy your geopolitics. Sometimes you don't seem to be able to help yourself. You need to go into therapy. Bye, Linda. All right, party animals. This is the place, number 57. Chop, chop. Now remember, what do we say? Please. And? Thank you. Very good. Any chance of a kiss? Yeah. Good boy. Oh, tough guy, huh? Now remember, I'll pick you up when the big hand's on 12 and the little hand's on... Six. Correct. Bye-bye. Who's Peter? A dog lover. I hope you're sorry. Should we just forget about yesterday? <laughs> we could kiss and make up. You don't like kissing. But I like making up. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Peter? I won't be cross-examined. I'm not cross-examining you. <laughs> you just made love to him. You are cross-examining me. I'm questioning us. I have no idea what you feel, what you think, what you want. God, the where do I stand speech. I'm not playing that game. I'm playing this game. What do you want to play? Oh, I always like playing that game. I realized I wouldn't get an answer. And if you can't get an answer, you might as well get a fuck. She was as impenetrable as ever. God, what? Oh, Christ! I have to pick up the kids from a party. It finishes at six. No, you tell me. Shall I tell you about Peter? He's my lover. He's been my lover the whole time you and me have been seeing each other. Stupid phrase. I never know when to believe you. Then maybe I'm saying it all to make you jealous. If I am, then it must mean that I really want you. Or that I'm a cruel vamp. I have to pick up the kids. Come with me. Don't you understand? I hate the fact that you have kids. I hate your kids. I can't leave them at the party. You are the absolute end. You come here to make up. You force me into bed. Bed was your idea. You're not telling me you've only got 30 minutes. Two hours. And then it's off to the kiddies. I'm saying, come with me and we'll go and have dinner. Where? Hamburger heaven with the kitty winkies. Flynn will give me all the love and attention I need. Flynn and his uncles.
Yes, hello, Mrs. Forrest. This is Alan and Ben's father. But I've had a puncture, so I'm going to be a little bit late. It's my tyre. Midnight? Thanks for the stereo, sucker! If you'd come to the dog show, you wouldn't be in this mess. It's me again. I, you won't believe this, but I've run out of petrol. I'm sorry, you must think I'm a very chaotic individual. Oh, I'm sure you're not. I'll be there as soon as I can. What are you doing? I'm clamping you because you've got no right to park here. I'm not parked here. I ran out of petrol. <laughs> a likely story. This is a petrol can. Mmm, unleaded. But you are still illegally parked. My job is to punish the selfish fuckers who block the arteries of our great city. And you are a prime selfish fucker. And dirty, too. All right. All right. I'll pay the fine. Now. Ah, ah. <laughs> ah, it's not as easy as that. I have to clamp you. You have to go to the depot. You have to pay the fine at the depot. Then someone has to come and release your vehicle. Well, it takes two hours, at least. Oh, could you pass the padlock, please? No. Pity. You could have been the first man to have helped clamp his own car. <laughs> and then I might have spoken for you. To this copper. Oh, fuck. I'm arresting you on suspicion of driving while drunk. I'm not driving, and I'm not drunk. Breathe in. <sighs> Breathe out. I should say, sir, that you've recently had a cup of Earl Grey tea, some chocolate digestive biscuits, and sex. No alcohol. You're free to drive off. I'm not free. I've just been clamped. Oh, well, that's not a crime, sir. It is against me. I wouldn't rant and rave, sir, or I might have to arrest you again. For what? For being drunk. You just said I was free. That was before you ranted and raved. Oh, give me strength. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I've been clamped. What did you tell her? I'm not very good at lying. Oh, God, I can just hear her. I'm not saying anything, Dick. Just look at Ben. Did he have a rash when I brought him to you? No. It's anxiety. Anxiety because you make them feel insecure. No one ever knows where they are with you.